Here we see Ender from Zauberberg being worked on standing with the front feet on the block. You can use any elevation like a step stool or something magnificently uh, elevated. <coughs> and we teach the dog how to stand still. That helps with brushing and any kind of handling that we want to have to do with our dogs. The command to do that is Steh in German, means stand. It teaches the dog to stand at the same time uh, as it does to teach him how to stand in on that obstacle. So every time she's on there, the behavior is fairly well established at this point. I'll feed after I say is the command and after I have the response and I try to feed her exactly when her front feet are still, not trembling. So she gets off, I freeze, I ask for the behavior again, she does it and she gets fed. In the beginning of teaching that behavior, of course, we lure the dog onto the block. So she is advanced enough that she has an understanding of what the word means because I have always used the word when I lured her on there. And I could predict that she's going on there. The food should be presented every time we have the behavior of standing still on the block. If she's moving or if she's getting off, the food will be withdrawn. Here I introduce her to being touched, simulating brushing with the brush, and feed her quickly as she stops any kind of movement and is standing solidly still. And I release, of course, with the release command that she knows. Here is her brother Karsten doing the same thing. <clears throat> I could predict that he was going to go on there because he knows the situ situation or he knows the picture when we approach the block. And we have a great chance of him doing the behavior. Here I slipped the command or the key, the cue, right in there when I could see that he's going to do it. Here again, he gets off the block, nothing happens. So when you're on the block, everything good happens. So it's your choice for right now. And the choice is fairly easy if we time everything correctly. Yo, here the GoPro <coughs> was blown off the post I had it sitting on. And we start all over again. He already knows the behavior, I slip the word right in there. He stands on the block with his front feet and he gets fed. I'm moving around, feeding while I'm moving and while he's standing still. So he gets used to a stay in the position even though I'm moving. Here he thought about going on there and I didn't really want him to think on his own too much right now anymore so I fed him for the release command off the block standing very still and gets fed while he's doing it and released and fed so here I want to show you the end result with Zabo. He has been trained just in that fashion, <coughs> standing very still on command on the block with his front feet and allows me to brush him, that's the whole purpose, um, without me bending over and with me having access to all body parts that I want to groom. He lets me pull the collar up to get underneath it and he stands still even though it the, the brush gets stuck in his undercoat and it might 
not hurt but be uncomfortable a little bit and he needs to hold the position so that what makes brushing very easy instead of having the dog on the ground us bending over all the way and the dog constantly wiggling around moving getting away from the brush or getting toward it whatever they do <clears throat> and it can be an exhausting event so this way it's totally easy and comfortable for the dog and for us release procedure done